Okay, so here we are. We're going to try and cast a mold here out of UltraCal 30 uh, for this Starship mold. Um, I've uh, sprayed the mold or the plug with uh, PAM to give it a good lubrication. I've got a little barrier around here out of uh, weather stripping tape so I can uh, work out a uh, flat base uh, for support after it's all dry. So the first thing we want to do is start mixing up some UltraCal. This is kind of done by feel. You just mix and mix. You want to get something like mayonnaise, but not quite that thick. If you get it too thick, you're going to get bubbles. If you get it too thin, then it's going to run all over the place. Okay, let's see. Of course, I forgot my gloves. There we go. Ooh, I think I put too much water in there. Okay. This little slurry. It's a little bit thin right now. Throw some more in here. It's also kind of a guess about how much you need until you get kind of used to doing this. Tennessee, of course, is always the mix too much, but that's better than not enough. Okay, there we go, eh? Kind of like thick mayonnaise. We want to mix up enough here that we're going to get enough to put about an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch coating on the plug. I set my timer. This stuff sets up rather quickly, but yeah, 30 in an ultra cow means 30 minute setup. So, but you got about 15 minutes of reasonable working time. Depending on how thin you mix it, the thinner you mix it, the slower it, it uh, sets up. Now, see, that's that's a little too thick. Just a touch more water. It doesn't take a lot of water to to thin down a good quantity of this. <clears throat> yeah, see there? Put too much water in there. Oh, so it's back and forth. I once tried measuring this all out, figuring it out, but it's more trouble than it's worth. Okay, now there, that's nice and thick. You can see that'll, that'll stick on a vertical surface. So, and it's still thin enough, I think the bubbles will come out of it. There goes the telephone, of course we're not going to answer that. Now, and drive some of the air bubbles out. Well, if we can see that, see the bubbles coming out of there, breaking on the surface. I'm going to kind of let it bounce around like this. 
you know, just dragging the air out of it. So you don't get as many bubbles in there and you mold against the surface. Okay. Well, from this point on, it's just goop and slop. Yeah, it might be just a touch thin. I'm going to see what happens here. I'm going to kind of put this on and then feed it down from the top down. You can see how easily it slides over the pan, over the oil. Just kind of work it around. Of course, you got to make a mess, or else it's not valid. It's no good. Okay. It kind of wants to slide down, but you just keep locking it back up. I said this first coat doesn't have to be very thick. We just want to make sure we've got all the surface covered, no big holes or gaps in it anywhere. I just about got the right amount for the first coat. That's probably got to be a first. Oops, nope. Got a spot over there, don't I? I don't know if we can scoop out enough. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to keep spreading it around and it's liable to open up a few spots. There's one there. Like I said, work it from the bottom up. Just keep working. There, see a spot opened up right here. I'll just pull it back up. Kind of like playing in the mud when you were a kid. Or building a sandcastle or something like that. Okay. All right, I think we need to. These corners up here, of course, are always a challenge when you've got a real sharp angle. Got to make sure you get material on that. Okay. Now, see how it just, that just smooths it out. Runs it down, and I can lather some up and bring it back into play. Again, the idea is to get it smooth so you're driving out the air bubbles. Put one of these spaces on here. It's been uh, about six minutes now, so it won't be too much longer, and this will start to firm up to where we can not worry about adding anymore until we get our next coat mixed up. Yeah, hey, okay. you see that just slide down. Yeah, it's heavy. If you just keep moving it right back up, moving it up, you don't want any exposed areas. Yeah, I can start to feel it uh, getting a little thicker now. I always like to use cold water when I mix this. Never use warm. If you use warm, this sucker will just set up way too fast and not give you enough time to really get good coverage. <laughs> 